टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट सकम्फ्रेंस एंड एरिया ऑफ द सर्कल एंड सेमी सर्कल वी नो दैट द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ द बाउंड्री ऑफ अ क्लोज फिगर इज कॉल्ड इट्स पेरीमीटर इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ अ सर्कल वी कॉल इट अ सकम्फ्रेंस दैट इज द लेंथ ऑफ द बाउंड्री ऑफ अ सर्कल इज कॉल्ड इट्स सकम्फ्रेंस we denote it as c let us perform an interesting activity to know how to find the circumference of a circle take a cardboard on this draw a circle of radius 3.5 cm cut the drawn circle can you tell how we can find out length of the boundary of the circle that is its circumference think think of course ruler cannot be used here because ruler is used to measure the length of a straight line since the boundary of the circle is curve we cannot find the length of its boundary with the ruler to find the length of the boundary of the circle mark a point on the boundary and place a thread on this point and move it along the edge of the circle the length of the thread required to reach the starting point that is to make a complete round gives us the idea of circumference of the circle in this case the circumference of circle is 22 cm there is an interesting relationship between the diameter and the circumference of the circle if we find the ratio of the circumference of any circle to its diameter then in each case it is 22 by 7 this ratio is constant which is represented by pi in decimal pi is 22 by 7 is approximately equal to 3.14 which shows that the circumference of the circle is more than 3 times the diameter if we represent the circumference by c the diameter as d then pi is equal to c by d this gives us the formula to find the circumference of circle c is equal to pi d since the diameter is twice the radius that is d is equal to 2r that's why we can write the same formula as c is equal to 2 pi r this formula is very useful for finding the circumference of a circle like here the radius of circle is 3.5 cm so the circumference of circle will be C is equal to two multiplied by twenty-two by seven multiplied by three point five centimeter is equal to twenty-two centimeter. Now let's talk about the area of a circle. We know that the surface enclosed by a plane of closed figure is called its area. Let us find the area of this circle by an activity. Suppose we have taken a circle of cardboard. We will consider its radius as r. First, we will divide the circle into eight equal parts. Now, we will cut these parts and separate it. We will arrange these parts in this way. From this, we will get a shape like a parallelogram. If we divide the circle in sixteen equal parts and arrange it in this way, then we will be able to arrange the parallelogram more properly in this way the more equal parts the more appropriate is the parallelogram if we divide the circle into several equal parts by arranging them we will get a rectangle remember that a rectangle is also a parallelogram the breadth of this rectangle will be equal to radius r of the circle and the length will be half the circumference of the circle that is pi r we can say that area of circle is equal to area of rectangle made that means here area of circle is equal to length multiplied by breadth is equal to pi r multiplied by r is equal to pi r square area of circle is equal to pi r square from this formula we can find the area of any circle for example by using this formula we can find the area of a given circle 
whose radius is 3.5 cm. The value of pi is 22 by 7 and the value of r that is radius is 3.5 cm. By putting these values in this formula, we will get the area of this circle as 38.5 square centimeter. Now, suppose we have to find the circumference and area of the semicircle of the same radius, then how will we do this? Think, think. Let me tell you, semicircle means half of the entire circle. Therefore, the area of semicircle will be the area of entire circle divided by 2, that is, half pi r square. In this way, taking radius r is equal to 3.5 and pi is equal to 22 by 7, we will get the area of this semicircle as 19.25 square centimeter. Similarly, the circumference of the semicircle is half the circumference of the circle. So, the circumference of the semicircle will be pi r. In this way, by taking r is equal to 3.5 and pi is equal to 22 by 7, we will get the circumference of this semicircle as 11 cm. Today we have learned the circumference and area of circle and semicircle. In the next video, we will see some examples related to this. Thank you.